What's up, Bergen family? Welcome back to my channel. Now, the next time you're in Dollar Tree, check out the solar lights section. They have solar lights in for Christmas and not just for the summertime. You can do some really beautiful DIYs, especially for outside decor using these items. So let's start off with our first project. Get some buckets. I prefer buckets that have a rounded out bottom. If you cannot find those, just use what you have on hand. Remove the handles off of your bucket. Dollar Tree carries these Christmas light solar lights. I really like the panel because it's bigger than the other ones so I'm using that for this project. I'm going to be gluing the solar light inside of the bucket making sure that the little panel is facing the bottom of the bucket which is actually going to be the top of our project. Use a heavy duty glue like super glue E6000 and I did use a little bit of hot glue just so this stuck right away. The other glues take a little bit more time to adhere right away. Now it's time to add a layer of Mod Podge or glue to your bucket. You just wanna make sure that the glue dries clear. I'm doing this so I can add some glitter to this and it's actually fake snow. It's more like a chunky type of glitter. You can use a fine glitter, it's completely up to you, but I'm trying to make this look more like a gumdrop and by using this snow, it makes it look a little bit more like that sugar coating look that we need. I'll be using these outside, so I got some metal stakes off of Amazon and I'll link them down below for you guys. I'm gonna be using those to push through the bucket so that they don't fly anywhere. And now we have these gumdrops that are perfect for outside decor. Since these buckets are see-through, the solar lights can absorb the sunlight and glow every single night without having to use lights that you plug in. It looks adorable at nighttime. If you want to try cutting the rim of your buckets, you can always try. I figure near me the snow will cover that up come December. These are easy and affordable. You guys have to let me know your favorite DIY in this video because this is mine. Moving on to our next project. I'm going to be using those solar light Christmas lights again. I'm using eight of these lights for this project and I'm removing the handles off of my lights and putting them to the side for now. You're also going to need a hula hoop for this project and some garland. Dollar Tree does carry garland but I got my garland for $5 at Michael's. I got a much fuller piece that's going to work better for this project and to get a full piece like this using Dollar Tree products I'm going to end up needing at least five of their garland pieces and it's going to cost me more than $5. So I'm using a zip tie to attach the garland to the hula hoop and then I start to wrap the garland around the hula hoop. Once I get to the end of wrapping the garland, I use a zip tie to attach that end piece and then I cut off any excess garland that I do not need. We're going to start attaching our solar lights to the hula hoops. Those little handles that you took off, you're going to place back on to the solar lights by just wrapping the handle around the hula hoop and then reattaching them to the solar lights and it's real easy to do you don't need glue or anything but if you want to use some glue to really reinforce those handles in place you can I got some ornaments from Dollar Tree, mini red ones and then the green ones. They don't carry mini green ones. So I'm just going to remove the tops off of the ornaments and then I'm going to glue them down. I like to remove the top because I don't like the way it looks and it makes it easier to attach it to the garland. I'm going to be hanging my hula hoop. To do this, I'm using this plant hanger I got from Dollar Tree. If you cannot find these right now, you can go to Amazon and get them for a relatively inexpensive price. Now to attach this to the hula hoop, I'm using zip ties. I just wrap the zip tie around the hula hoop and then loop it through the plant hanger. I'm actually going to be hanging this inside of my house. So though my solar lights are not going to constantly be getting sunlight and glowing the way that I would like them to, I wanted to put this inside of my house because I think the lights glowing or not nonetheless are really cute and I matched my decor. Now I needed to hang this before I called my DIY finish because I need to see where I need to add more ornaments and where I need to do a better job wrapping the branches around the hula hoop and it's hard to do with this just laying flat on top of the table. So if you're hanging this outside, if you're hanging this inside of your home, hang it up and then just do your finishing touches then. So this is how it looks inside of my home. I love it so much. I've never had like a Christmas chandelier. This was really inexpensive to make. I did add more ornaments because the one pack of the green and the one pack of the red I used just wasn't enough for me. And then this is how it looks when the lights are on. There's a little switch inside of these lights so you can turn them on and off if you're going to be using them indoors to preserve what energy you have left. And you can always take these outside, unhook them, take them outside 
and then get more sunlight that way. Let's talk about our sponsor for this video, Helix Sleeps. Helix Sleeps makes premium mattresses and bedding that are customized to fit your needs and ship directly to your door. Everybody's unique and Helix knows this, so they created a sleep quiz to match your unique body type and your style of sleeping to find a mattress that is right for you. If you sleep with someone, you can also take the quiz for two people to find a mattress that's perfect for you and the person you sleep with. So my husband Matt and I took the quiz and we were matched with Helix Twilight Luxe. This is their firmest memory foam model designed with advanced support and incredible firm comfort. I'm a side sleeper and Matt toss and turns when he sleeps and we both prefer firmer mattresses. Setup is so easy, just remove the mattress from the box, set it on your foundation while it's still wrapped in plastic, then remove the mattress from its plastic wrapping. I've owned my Helix mattress for four months now and there is such a big difference from the way I used to sleep on my old mattress versus now I don't wake up with all these cramps, I get a good night rest versus before, it is such a difference. I really like the firmness of it and we opted for the Glacial Text cooling cover. So what that is, is it helps get like the heat off of your body essentially. It cools you down, which is really nice. I sleep with an air conditioner on all year round and a fan because I get really hot when I sleep. So this has this nice cooling feature that I really, really like. Helix mattresses have a 100 night trial that's risk free, which is really nice. Cause once I got older, I realized just how important a mattress is. After all, you will sleep on this every day. And if you're not sleeping well, you're obviously not going to get enough sleep, wake up less focused and sore, which is no fun. I love my Helix and I think you would too. If you're looking for a new bed, check out Helix. Click on the link below or go to helix.com slash bargain Bethany for up to $200 off your Helix sleep mattress plus two free pillows. Thanks again to Helix for sponsoring this video. Let's continue with our projects. Purchase one garland from Dollar Tree and then some ornaments. The garland from Dollar Tree is not very full, but it works well for this project. Just one of them, unless you have a really big door or big window, then you might need multiple ones. Anyways, I'm gonna be using the same solar lights that I've been using. At first, I was feeding them through the garland, but I realized it's much faster to remove the handle, wrap it around the garland, and then reattach the light to the handle. Originally, I used eight lights for this project, and I figured out what was going to be the middle of the garland that would go over my door and what would go down on the sides. And once I figured that out, I just bent the pieces of the garland to kind of keep the shape of it where it would go over the door. Now I'm gonna start attaching some ornaments and to attach them, I'm using zip ties and I'm doing a little cluster of just two. I feed the zip ties through the ornaments and then I attach them that way. What was supposed to be the sides of the garland, so the sides that would go beside the door, I only put one ornament uh, instead of doing the clusters just because I started to run out of ornaments. Then I'm gonna glue down some of these fake peppermints I got for 60% off at Hobby Lobby. Right now they have 60% off, which which is weird because they don't do that till like after the holiday. Anyways, I'm going to just glue a few here and there all around my garland. Now, like I said, I was originally making this to go around my door and I'm using the self-adhesive strips that I absolutely love from Amazon. I wasn't thinking when I was making the garland, my door is too close to the roof. So the garland was hitting the door. In order to open the door, you hit the garland. So it wasn't gonna work like that. Instead, I had to put this underneath my window. And once I placed it underneath the window, I had to mess around with the lights and space them out a little bit more. I also added a few more lights just to make it more even underneath the window. So I just went with plan B. You can definitely make this to go around your door as long as you have the room to open up your door without it hitting your garland. Here it is at nighttime, all lit up underneath my window really really cute and this one is so so easy to do for this next project i'm going to be using these boxes from dollar tree they carry multiple sizes i'm using the biggest one that they carry now i'm drilling a hole on the bottom of one of the boxes i'm doing this so that the solar light i place on top of this box can hopefully shine through that hole as much as possible inside of the box that doesn't have the hole i'm going to be gluing wooden dowels to the corners of this box i used wood glue 
and hot glue to attach the wooden dowels. Wood glue takes a little bit longer to dry so that hot glue keeps the wooden dowels in place while I wait for the wood glue to completely dry. Once I have those four wooden dowels glued down, I then attach the top box and the top box is the one that has that hole. I decided to remove the metal pieces off of the front of the boxes and then paint this entire thing white. Now I took the top off of one of the Christmas light solar lights and I'm gluing it to the top of the box making sure the light that's in the solar light is peeking through that hole I created. I picked up these styrofoam rounds from Dollar Tree to come in a pack for $1.25. I decided to glue them to the inside of my lantern. Dollar Tree has these poinsettia looking solar lights in right now. I purchased five of them and I removed the light from the actual steak piece so the handle steak whatever you want to call it I removed it and I'm going to be pushing these through the styrofoam then I purchased these pine picks from Dollar Tree I'm gonna cut them down and place them all around the poinsettias this is really pretty when you take it outside it just glows and looks absolutely magical if you want to use this for the inside of your home you can either put the solar lights and the lanterns close to a window so they're able to absorb some sunlight or just use the fake flower poinsettias that Dollar Tree carries you can see at the top of the box there's a very light glow from the solar light that's up there once you remove the main piece from a solar light it doesn't have the same type of glow moving on to our final DIY from Dollar Tree, I picked up these 3D wreath forms. There's two different kinds you can purchase. I went with the smaller size. They come with two of these thicker foil round pieces, and that's what you use to create the 3D metal form. You wrap the little tabs around the wire pieces, and that's how you get it to stay in that shape. Dollar Tree carries a bunch of tinsel, and I'm gonna be using that for this project. Let me know if you call it, I got a comment last time saying, this isn't tinsel. It is tinsel. They said it was garland, but it's tinsel garland. Let me know if you call it tinsel because I just call it tinsel. Okay, that's neither here or there. I'm going to start wrapping the tinsel around the wreath form and I'm using zip ties to do this. So I use my zip tie to initially get the tinsel on and then as I wrap it, I keep using zip ties to make sure that the tinsel isn't sliding down. I use about three zip ties for every little, I don't even know what to call it, row of wire. I don't know. It's technically not a row, but you, you, you can see what I'm doing. Of course, we're gonna be using my favorite solar light for this DIY and just the top of it because this makes the perfect top for what is supposed to be our ornament. Now, there's two things regarding this. To attach this, you can use glue. The thing with glue is it's not gonna hold on this very well just because there's not a lot of surface for this to be glued to. I recommend taking a zip tie and attaching it that way. I had to attach two zip ties together to get a long enough one to wrap it around. And though the zip tie doesn't look the prettiest, it's very hard to see. It doesn't it doesn't really take away from the ornament. The other thing about this, using the solar light in this project, you're not gonna get a glow. The light is too little, too weak once you take off that um, light bulb piece that it's not really gonna glow through the ornament. What I recommend doing is getting fairy lights. Now you can buy fairy lights that have a remote so you can just press it all on versus going outside and turning on each individual fairy light and you can buy fairy lights that are made for outdoors and so I attached fairy lights inside of my ornaments and when I hung these outside I hung them off of flagpoles that I got from Dollar Tree I don't really have a tree to hang these off of but if you have a low or shorter tree you can definitely hang these off of your shorter tree I mean you can hang it off of a taller tree you just you got to get a ladder or something to get up there that is it for the solar light DIYs so that's that's it for these Dollar Tree solar light DIYs. I want to thank Helix again for sponsoring this video. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys next time. Take care. Bye.